hey home slice this video is a week late because I made these and these were a disaster oh they just turned out so bad and I wasn't having it so I remade them refilmed them and that's what you're going to see in this video a pair of flowy fabric shorts and they require sewing so if you don't know how to sew that's okay because I have two how-to videos that you can watch if you just click here or here You will need lightweight and stretchy fabric. The one I'm using is made out of rayon and spandex. You'll also need an elastic waistband. Mine is braided elastic and is an inch wide. Large paper or a 12 by 18 inch piece of construction paper, colored pencils or tailor's chalk, a pair of scissors, sewing pins, a safety pin, and a sewing machine. First, find shorts that fit you well or ones that you want to imitate and trace a line a half inch away from the shorts onto the large paper, then cut it out so you have a template. Grab your fabric and fold it inside out and in half, then place a template on top. Right now I'm tracing the front two pieces of the short. Now I'm tracing the back two pieces and I'm drawing the line an inch from the template for more room. Go ahead and cut through both layers of the fabric and remember to cut through the fold to separate the layers. The two front pieces are on the left and the two back pieces are on the right, so put pins along both curves to hold the pieces together. I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and sew along the two curves. Here I'm using a straight stitch and I didn't film it but I also went back in with a zigzag stitch. Now that the two front and two back pieces are sewn together, place one on top of the other and have their pattern sides facing each other. Try to have the pieces line up as best as you can and put pins along the sides in the upside down V shape. I'm going to sew along the upside down V first and then along the two sides. I started sewing at the tip of the upside down V with a straight stitch and then onto the other leg also starting at the tip. And I went back in again with a zigzag stitch. I'm moving on to the two sides which are also being sewn with a straight and zigzag stitch. Now take the elastic waistband and wrap it around your waist so that it hugs it tightly but comfortably and add on an inch before you cut it. We are going to make a casing for the elastic and we're going to fold it over twice so for the first one fold an inch from the top of the fabric outside in. To get that nice fold I'd suggest ironing and pinning it in place. Now use the elastic to measure how much fabric needs to be folded over to make the casing. Once it's folded to the correct size place two pins three inches away from each other to mark where to stop sewing. And I'm just putting other little pins to keep the casing from unfolding before I take it back to the sewing machine. I'm starting at one needle mark and I'm sewing with a straight stitch along the bottom fold and I'm sewing all around until I reach the other needle mark. Now take a safety pin and attach it to one end of the elastic and start feeding it through one end of the hole you left in the casing and keep pulling the elastic until it comes through to the other end of the hole. Overlap the ends of the elastic by an inch and replace the safety pin with a regular pin to hold the ends together Then we'll take it back to the sewing machine to join the ends of the elastic and to seal the casing I actually sewed the elastic in three places just to be sure that it's secure and doesn't come undone And again, I'm using a straight and zigzag stitch. I'm also using a straight stitch to seal the casing now you can decide how short you want your shorts to be. I'm folding, ironing, and putting them down the same way I did to make the casing for the elastic. I'm using a straight stitch to sew along the top fold. After sewing those folds, you can turn the entire thing inside out and your pair of shorts are all finished. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this DIY, please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!